Hello everybody. It's a lovely sunny bright blue day out here. Sun's in my eyes a bit actually. Very nice. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd do one on places to perch. Now, obviously when you're looking for a job, some places are better than others. So this is kind of what you can do if you're not in a great area. You can get up a little bit earlier, like if you live in Norwich or if you live down like, you know, in the middle of Wales or down Bristol Way or something like that. You can move towards the 25, move to areas where you've got more chance of getting a job. The only problem is when you move to an area where you've got more chance of getting a job, you also move to an area where you've got more people, more vans. So we used to, and then you might find one pinned up from where you were um, and you think, oh, if only I stayed where I was, I was better off. But there are certain places that are better than others. Say, for example, where I dropped off the other day, I dropped off in Waterloo. Now, when you drop off in Waterloo, you, um, you might only be 10 miles away from the next job but it's going to take you an hour and a half to get there because you've got to fight your way out of London. Whereas you get areas where you're right on intersections. Now, I've done a video from here because behind this roundabout there, over there, is Denham Roundabout. Now, Denham Roundabout's one of them funny roundabouts, like the magic roundabout in the middle of Hemel Hempstead, where you can actually go around it backwards as well as forwards. Um, no, actually, Hemel Hempstead, you can only go around it backwards. This one, you can go around it both ways. But, sorry. Uh, but the long and short of it is, when you're on Denham Roundabout, you're bang on the M25 and you're also bang on the M40, which means you can get um, Oxford, you can get Watford, you can get Wembley, you're even not that far from Milton Keynes, Luton, St Albans. You might be 30 miles away, but that makes you 30 minutes away. Whereas if you're in Waterloo, you might be 30 miles away, but two hours away. So there are certain places, you just look for intersections. The intersection for the M1 and the M18, the M1 and the M6. Certain places, you've got more chance of getting jobs than others. So, yeah, I'm not, you know, really what you want to do is you want to pick up your job, drop off a job, and try and get to the next job as quickly as possible, regardless of mileage, because time is money. But if you can't find anything nearby, and also where I dropped off, I just dropped to Ivor at Ridgeway, there's a good chance they might call me back in there again. But if they don't, at least where I am at the moment, I've got a very good chance of a job going forward. So, I mean, if, you try, if you're finding it a bit tough getting the jobs, and if you, you know, you drop off somewhere a bit rural, might make sense to do about 20 minutes, maybe do a little bit dead miles, get yourself back to somewhere where you've got half a chance of moving forward. Let me know how it goes. Sunday Q&A's out there, I'm happy to pass everything on. Places to perch, please pass it on. Anyway, that's just a quick one. Hope you're all good. January's nearly over, getting a bit warmer, getting back to normal. Take care, take money.